go now. Okay. We good? Okay. I was toying with the idea that I could write a memoir and a friend of mine gave me a copy of The Liars Club by Mary Carr. After I read the book, I was totally blown away. I became an instant fan because I thought the writing was poetic and beautiful and I really hit on the notion that this writer could write songs and she just happened to be from the same part of the country that I was from. Secretary kept telling me that there was this song I was name checked in, and it says the whole list of people Tom Waits, Aretha Franklin, Mary Carr. About six months later, I get this CD at the university where I teach, and sure enough, it's Rodney Crow. He's written me a note, and I listen to the song. It's kind of an amazing song called Earthbound. If you ain't running from the past, I had every intention to convince her that we could write songs together, and it took a little while to get her to warm to the idea, but when she did, she took to it like a duck to water. If the Lord wants you, neither do I. I was on a book tour. Rodney was finishing China Berry Sidewalks, his great memoir. I'll tell you one reason I wanted to do this, was seeing Rodney have so much fun being a freshman in a new genre. And our sensibilities are so similar and yet also different. You're smart and I'm cool. <laughs> to words that go from a songwriterly point of view and there's a certain rhythm and quietness from the poetic point of view. It would make the songs more unusual. That's our collaboration. That's what it was like. like That's that. what it was like. We laughed our oh, asses. We laughed. The recording process on the record was, it was mainly just fun. It was just painted by numbers. Most of the songs had a female narrative so I started asking around some of my friends Amy Lou Harris and Roseanne Cash and Lucinda Williams and Nora Jones, Leanne Womack. We got Vince Gill and Chris Christopherson to come in and help me shoulder the load as a singer a little bit. Joe Henry produced my record Sex and Gasoline and, and it was such a great process working with him. Joe's very creative and very supportive and he gets me away from old habits that I developed because I've been doing this for a while. God, I'm missing you. There's a great line by a guy named Walter Pater, all art constantly aspires to the condition of music. And I kind of feel that way about musicians. It's To me, it's like the most exalted form because it's where form and content are completely interwoven. You know, a note doesn't mean anything except in the context of the other notes. So you're kind of creating a new language in every song, I think. I came up with the line, when our feet were tough as nails, and you go, it's not nails. <laughs> you know, because nails sing, you know, I've heard that word sung so many right, times. Right, and you, right. Then you said, it's horn. Your feet are tough as horn when you're children and you're barefooted. And I said, well, that's not. But then I realized that was the poetic choice. Mary, thank you. I, I enjoyed the experience of writing these songs and making this record with you. It's really a high point in my creative life. You're such a great artist. I love and admire you. Thank you. Well, you're welcome. You were very lucky to get <laughs> It is also a, such an amazing collaboration. It's, it is like having a, a brother I never had. It's like finding a brother I never had. And then all these other people, it's like Extended family. Extended family. And you said, I don't want to be tamed down. I just want to saddle up, to ride my broomstick pony along some salt grass open plain. But you really shoved your hand. I've been off in cans with your daisy pump, bear rifle, and